My dear friends, I hope this finds you well. You know, I woke up Monday morning to the, the news of Kobe Bryant's uh, tragic death along with his, uh, his daughter and seven other people. And I was taken aback by my, my response to it. I felt, you know, really like, whoa, what's going on? And, and very, very hurt in many ways. Um, he was my, he was my idol growing up. I mean, he was, he was my guy. I, I loved Kobe Bryant and, um, you know, a big basketball fan, a big, big Celtics fan, but even so, uh, I loved the Lakers and I loved Kobe Bryant. The rivalry wasn't as fierce <laughs> when I was growing up, uh, than, you know, just before when I was born. And, you know, like I said, I was very kind of taken aback by my response to it. And, you know, our heart goes out to the family and that's first and foremost to his family and all those families lost loved ones. It's really a terrible situation. And as kind of, you know, things have settled since, since the beginning of this week, you know, I've, I've been reflecting upon my response, that emotional response and uh, kind of the public conversation around, around his death and the fascination with it. And it is a shocking thing, right? Because here's someone who's larger than life, but yet, um, you know, they, they unfortunately meet their end before what, what seemingly is, uh, was expected, you know? And like I said, I had this emotional response because as a kid, he was my, my idol. He was my hero. And, and you know, and with the game on the line, the crowd roaring, and I got the ball in my hands with, uh, you know, 10 seconds left as I was, you know, battling against myself in my bath, in, in my, uh, in my bedroom. Uh, and you know, it's all up to me. You become Kobe Bryant. You, you got to make that little, you know, fade away, turn around jump shot to win the game. He's the guy, you know, he was such an incredible basketball player and he inspired so many people with his basketball. Uh, and there's also been a really interesting conversation around his legacy, uh, as a human being. And many people have questioned the timing. Is it appropriate to talk about these things now, uh, just as his family is mourning? And that is a, it is a good question. Uh, but I think what this raises for me, this has raised for me, is the question of, you know, who are our heroes and who are our idols? Um, I think Kobe Bryant was, for many people and for me as well, he was a hero because of what he could do on the court. And his success on the court has also allowed him to be a very kind and generous person uh, and, and very philanthropic and, you know, and that's very well documented. Uh, but of course, his legacy has been greatly harmed by, um, you know, he's basically accused and pretty much, uh, you know, not convicted, but it was very clear that he did commit sexual assault on a young woman. Uh, and that has definitely harmed his legacy, uh, as it should, as it should. And there's a lot of conversation today around Me Too and, and you know, the power of, of famous people and athletes and, um, you know, uh, and, and, and actors and what they can do. And, and you know, and we know that there is a, a, um, an imbalance of power, certainly when it comes to athletes, and they're able to do certain things that other people are not allowed to do, and they're able to get away with it. And we kind of just let it, let it happen. And, you know, so what that does to his legacy um, is a really good question. I don't necessarily know if we have to come to an answer right now. I do know that for me, you know, he was my hero, but my heroes have changed. I'm still inspired by basketball players. I still love watching basketball. I still love sports and I get inspired by these individuals and what they're able to do. On the other hand, I do not look to athletes for moral guidance uh, or for, you know, spiritual inspiration. Um, you know, I think that that's an important thing, an important shift that we have to make. So, you know, this raises lots of questions and I know lots of people, you know, some people say, oh, you shouldn't mention it at all, right? It's, it's insensitive to mention it. And we don't know what the relationship, his relationship was with his wife and we don't know whether he did teshuva and, and really uh, repented for what he did. We don't know that and, it's, and it is a good point. Um, a lot of people say, you know, why are we really celebrating this guy? I mean, you know, this is what he did and, and you know, so these are really kind of opposing things and and, you know, I will just say, you know, I do not look to athletes for moral guidance. 
And I know that athletes, especially athletes from a young age, right, they've been uh, enabled their entire lives and people give them certain things that they don't give to normal people. And they get away with a lot of things. And that's, that's um, you know, that's just the sad truth. Um, but though I don't look to Kobe Bryant once again, you know, I'm inspired by his generosity, inspired by his, um, you know, his athleticism, uh, but I also, you know, recognize his weaknesses and his failures and, and I use, you know, we can use that as an opportunity to talk to young men about these imbalances. With all that being said, um, I think we can look to the, the personality of Kobe Bryant and the way that he approached the game of basketball, not life, because we don't know what he was like truly in life, but the way he approached basketball, I think we can take these ideas and apply them to our own lives. Kobe Bryant was known for his passion, that he cared deeply about basketball, and he invested everything in it. He invested everything. Uh, and also his meticulous uh, attention to detail. He focused on the detail of every little mo you know, movement and motion, and he was able to communicate that to young players and make them better. And so basketball is a game. It's a sport. It means a lot to a lot of people, but at the end of the day, there are much bigger, you know, matters in this world. And my blessing, I guess, is that we take, you know, I'm not going to be a great athlete, uh, but I can take that passion and that attention to detail and that focus that Kobe Bryant invested uh, in what he was really good at and what he became incredible at and, and, and had a big impact in this world, I'm going to take those values, and I bless all of us, that we can take those values and apply them to the things that we're passionate about, and we apply them to the things that will really change this world. So once again, you know, I hope this is, you know, isn't insensitive, and I see it's a long video as well. Our, our hearts go out to those who are suffering in this, in this difficult time. Uh, there's a lot of suffering in this world, and I think in response to this, let's be inspired by the way in which he played basketball and take those values and those, you know, and that, that energy and that passion and invest that in those things that will, will change this world and will impact this world. With that, I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.